Good morning friends, welcome back to Panikas Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed the brief history of C programming language. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, I request you to go back and watch that video. In this video, I want to discuss the features of C programming language. I will discuss each feature in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss what are the features in the C programming language. The first one is the robust in nature. What is the meaning of the robust is that it has rich inbuilt functions. It has the rich inbuilt functions and operators. And even the C programming language is a type oriented programming language. You have the data types. Whereas in the B and BCPL, they are typeless programming language. Now you can ask me what is the meaning of rich inbuilt functions. You have various inbuilt functions are there, which is printf, scanf, like str, len. You have the MA lock, CA lock, real lock, free, all these various inbuilt functions are there. Using these inbuilt functions, we can design complex programs using the C programming language. And we have the various operators. We have eight types of operators are there, such as arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, increment and decrement operator, special operators are there bitwise operator are there all these things are there in the c programming language so that's why it became very famous and about the various types of operators i will discuss in a separate video in detail so the c programming language is robust because it has the rich inbuilt functions and the operators and another important thing about the c programming language is that the c compilers supports the assembly language and also the high level language because of that one we can design the system softwares using the c programming language you can ask me what is the meaning of the system software we can design the system softwares and also the business applications using the C programming language. What is the system software? The system software is nothing but your operating system. Even the first traditional C program was used to design the Unix operating system, which is one of the system software. So C is robust and also using the C, we can design the system software and we can design the business applications also. Then C program is efficient and fast also as i said in the last video before the c we have two programming languages such as bcpl and b what is the bcpl stands for basic combined programming language as compared to the bcpl and b c programming language was fast and also efficient Okay, and these two programming languages are typeless programming languages, whereas C is type oriented. We have the various data types such as int, float, char. We have a long, double, all these character data types are there, and even we have the user defined data types such as structures, unions, pointers, all these things we will discuss one by one in the coming videos. Okay. And another thing is that it is portable. This is very important for any high level programming language. What is meant by portable? You have written a one program in one computer. A C program, let's take that you have written hello.c. This program will display an output called hello. Okay. In one computer you have written. Now in another computer you want to Execute it means you have executed you have sent the file to your friend he is using a different computer the specifications everything is different now with little bit changes 
or without changes you can execute this hollow.c program in your friend computer so that is what the portable okay you have written the one program in one computer and you have executed and you got the output now you want to execute it in another computer without modifications or with little bit modifications you can successfully execute this program in another computer so this is the meaning of the portable and another important thing is that c is a structured programming language c is a structured programming language now what is meant by structured programming language it has a specific structure like you have to go for the documentation section you have to write the link section then declaration section global means definition section global declaration section then you have the main function then you have the sub functions like that we have a specific structure for the c programming language in the next video i will discuss about the entire structure of the c programming language such as what is documentation section what is the link section what is the definition section what is the global declaration section all these things i will discuss in detail in the next video so what i want to tell the point is that c is a structured programming language if you want to write any c program you have to follow that structure okay and another important thing about the c is that it is easily extendable it is easily extendable now suppose you have written some add.c okay what is this add.c is doing is that it is taking two variables a comma b and it is performing the addition and then displaying the value c to the user now you have written the program you got the output now you can open the program and still you can add few more instructions such a way that you can perform the subtraction you can perform the multiplication you can perform the division all these things are possible and also you have the already i said that we have inbuilt functions in the library we have to use those header files and we can use this inbuilt function and even you can write your own functions and add it into the library so that's why the c programming language we can say that it is a easily extendable programming language so i have discussed various features such as robust what is the advantage of c programming language we can design the system software and business applications and it is efficient and fast compared to the previous programming language and it is portable and it is a structured programming language and it is easily extendable you can write your own functions and add it to the library okay so this is about the features of the c programming language i hope you have understood all the concept if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts less than 24 hours thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day.